How to accept being tall as a teen girl. It can be difficult to feel different, especially if the differences are clearly visible. If you're feeling awkward and embarrassed about your height, you're not alone. Lots of girls experience this as they wait for their peers to catch up. Stay positive by keeping an optimistic mindset and letting go of insults and shame. Focus on building your self-esteem and feeling good about yourself. Connecting with other people can be helpful as a way to gain perspective and feel supported by others. Creating a positive mindset. Be optimistic. You might feel awkward and clumsy now, but you likely won't stay that way. Give yourself some time to grow into yourself. It always takes time to adjust to a growing body, so don't think you'll feel awkward or strange forever. Chances are, you will start to feel more and more beautiful the more comfortable you get both with your body and with yourself. There are many beautiful and admired women who are tall. For example, Cindy Crawford, Michelle Obama, Beati Prinsloo, Angelina Jolie, Venus and Serena Williams, and Maria Sharapova are all tall and admired. See the benefits. You can reach high stuff many people can't reach. People tend to have more respect for someone who's tall and may even take you more seriously. When you go to a concert or sports game, it's likely you can see despite the large crowds. These are some of the many benefits of being tall that work in your favor. People might think you're older than you are. They might treat you more maturely or give you more leadership roles, too. Be patient. At the moment, you might be towering over your classmates and friends. Going to dances or doing paired activities may be totally cringe-worthy, but know that this won't last. It may take a year, or two or three, for other friends to be the same height as you, but it will happen. You can feel a sense of relief when others begin to be taller than you. It might feel like the end of the world, but it's not. You won't be the tallest person forever. Let go of shame. Your height may make you feel shame and you may wish more than anything to be shorter or at least feel more normal. If you experience shame in your height, recognize that it only harms you and takes away from your happiness. You cannot change your height. Show compassion for yourself. Admit that it's hard to feel different, but it doesn't have to feel bad. If you feel ashamed of your height, move into a place of acceptance, not dissatisfaction. Give yourself permission to have feelings about your height, but don't let them take over your life. Let go of insults. Some people might make fun of you for being tall. Don't take these comments seriously. It's best just to let them go and not let them bother you. Brush off these insults and remember that being tall is just one part of who you are and in no way defines you. If you're upset by someone's comments, tell an adult like a parent, teacher, or authority. If your friends make fun of you for being tall, tell them to stop. Give them an example of one of their traits being made fun of, and ask them how they would feel. If they don't stop making fun of you, they are not real friends. Find new friends that treat you nicely. Find activities that favor tallness. There are times when being tall is a distinct advantage. If you enjoy sports and athletics, it's likely that you will excel quickly and naturally due to your height. Did you ever think that because you're taller you'll have less distance to swim in a race? What about catching a rebound in basketball because you can reach higher than your peers? Take advantage of these opportunities and feel good about contributing to your team. If you don't enjoy team sports, try dancing or rock climbing. 